What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Wrestling Wednesdays. We got another quiz for you. Today is going to be. Actually, it's not guess the WWE wrestler, it's just WWE trivia. Our host is going to give us a random question, and we got to answer it. Simple as that. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Be sure to like the video. Comment of the day. Let's get into it. Number one. Rowdy Roddy Piper was known for his charisma and with even though he was really born in Canada, from which country was this kilt wearing legend built? Fun fact, I've never been in this country before. <laughs> Three, two, one Scotland. Scotland. Fun fact. I've never left the country. <laughs> Fun fact, I'm not allowed to leave the country. <laughs> Two. The hilarious pair of Triple H and Shawn Michaels was known as D Generation X in June 26, 2000, June 26, 2006. Episode of Raw, the duo impersonated 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 which of the following two people in their very funny impregnated. <laughs> impregnated. Oh, there's not like a multiple choice? Nah. Yeah, there is. Oh. That's too much. There's no room for the screen. I don't know which one This can is. be two two different... Uh, they yeah, do this two different, different times, but... Gotta go with the gas, my body. Resident trivia. Stop! Resident <laughs> trivia. I'm gonna have to go with this one. Fun fact. They both... Oh, never mind. Three, two, one. I put Vince and Shane. Vince and Shane? Vincent Shane. Okay. I wasn't sure if it was the Randy Orton and Edge or not. <clears throat> well, they didn't. They didn't impress. They didn't impersonate them, did they? I clicked on the wrong game. Number three. Number three. Which funny superstar, also known as the Great One, the Brahma Bull, and the People's Champion, entertained and electrified audiences when he yelled, "It doesn't matter." Oh. Oh, so it's just who it all was. that dude, all that work and struggle for this. Like I already knew the answer. I did too. I thought three, two, one. The Rock. Rock. The Rock. The Rock. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Do it. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Da da da. Ooh, don't show the fans that. Can't let them know. Wait, that's how you write your threes? Yeah. I didn't do that. That's how I write mine. I start from the top. I start from the bottom. No way. I just did it. I'm just kidding. That's how I write mine. <laughs> Number four. Four. This wrestler went by nicknames like Y2J Linehart and the Ayatollah of Rock and Rala. Which of these performers provided wrestling fans with many hysterical moments throughout his career? We got it. Three, two, one. Chris, Chris Jericho. Jericho. Chris Jericho. I'm from Winnipeg. You idiot. What? That's the what boat. your four looks like. <laughs> <laughs> Number five. Five. Eddie Guerrero was one of the all-time favorites of the WWE Universe for lying, cheating, and stealing. <clears throat> Which of these items did Guerrero frequently use to deceive referees into disqualifying his opponents? Hmm. Okay, this is like... This isn't like a very good... This is like a multiple choice question, mm -hmm. but I think we got it. Three, awesome. two, one. I'll put a chair. chair. It was a steel chair. Yeah. Yes. I love watching that when he used to do that back in the day. You just toss it to him and drop down. <clears throat> Did you do that? No, oh, no. I swear. And then he's over here like. Ring the look, bell. Look, he's over here like. <laughs> man, rip. Rest in peace, Eddie. Man. 
His son's doing really good in WWE, though. Yeah, Dom. Yeah. Tom and Nick. That's what our truth call him. <laughs> Come on, Tom and Nick. Number six. Six. Santino Morella was one of the funniest WWE superstars of the late 2000s and early 2010s. In what became one of his most memorable segments, what kind of party did he share with Vladimir Kozlov and Seamus during the Raw episode in Manchester, England? I know it. I have no clue. You want me to play it? I know it. No, I have no clue the name of it is. What kind of party? Uh Uh-huh. Just think, bro. Wait, what? Did it say a date? It was with Seamus and Vladimir Kol- uh, Kozlov. No, like, did it have a... Early 2010s. No, did it, did it have a month? No. This only happened one time. They dressed up in suits and invited Seamus out, and they was trying to make peace with him, but he kept making fun of his uh, his skin complexion. I want you to know, you're giving me this, right? Mm-hmm. I don't it know looks what... a little bit milky. No, 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 that's not what I mean. That's not what I meant. I'm just gonna go with this. What other kind of party is there, dog? A beach party. <laughs> <laughs> it reminds me of something else. I, I, I don't really don't know. I'm just gonna go with this. Three, two, one. I put a tea party. I put a Christmas party. It's a tea party. It's a tea party. Yeah, I, I didn't know. What other kind of party involves milk? Eggnog. <clears throat> Christmas party. Number seven. In the January 13th, 2020 episode of Raw, our truth was part of a very funny segment with Brock Lesnar and Paul Heyman. Truth spoke about how he would eliminate Heyman from a match before realizing that Heyman would not be competing. Which pay-per-view was our truth talking about in this segment? <laughs> in no, the January- I want to eliminate you, Paul Heyman. When I throw you over the top rope, Paul Heyman. What? Me? I'm not even in the match. Three, two, one. The Royal, Royal Rumble. Rumble. Royal Rumble. Huh? The Royal Rumble. Okay. The Royal Rumble. Number eight. <laughs> Number eight. Number eight. CM Punk established himself as an iconic figure in modern WWE through his many accomplishments and title wins. He was also known for his witty and sarcastic humor, which earned him popularity with fans. In a 2011 episode of Raw, CM Punk delivered a speech that shocked many WWE fans. By what name is this speech commonly known? <laughs> Three, two, one. The pipe, pipe bomb. bomb. The pipe bomb. Pipe bomb. Bro, my favorite CM Punk like pipe bomb is when he was messing with Triple H and he was like, uh... He was basically talking about how like he had to go ask uh, his wife for permission to get into a match, and he's like standing behind Triple H, and he goes, "Pipe bomb." <laughs> he says it so sarcastically, and it's fucking hilarious. Yo, chill out. <laughs> Number nine. Number nine. Right. One's bigger than the other. <laughs> that oh, Elon Musk. This is rocket ship, dog. Rocket ship. I'm a rocket man. Now it's gonna be a long, long time. Number nine. What is the name of this three man team that preached about the power of positivity? Uh oh. Uh oh. You're a captain. Okay. Shut up. Dude, I couldn't think Shut of the name. Up. There's no way. I literally could not think of the name. In my head, I was like, oh, I don't know what it is. Three, two, one. Three new day. Day. The new day. It's, it's the new day. I was like, what? <laughs> Ain't no way. way. <laughs> you didn't see how I write my nods. Man, fuck this. I don't, don't want to fuck you. Balls to the wall. Live lot of law. Ball till I fall. Lotto. Alright, number 10. Number 10. Number 10. Number 10. This clown persona has appeared on WWE television since 1993 and has been portrayed by several different wrestlers. Which oh, mischievous character, easy. fond of pranks, was famously played by Matt Bourne? That's even more easy. His wife lives beside Brent. Facts. <laughs> Fun fact. Facts. His I ex- live beside his ex-wife. His ex-wife is right past his wall in the next yard. Dude, I, I don't know if that's true. 
I mean, who knows? I don't think that's true. I don't. Who knows? I, three, two, one. Don't the, the clown. clown. Give me anxiety. Don't the clown. I hate clown music. Sean Spears, the perfect ten. Wait, what? I don't know. I just wrote down ten because it was funny. <laughs> Oh, I feel like this marker's going out too. 18, though, for real. My, my age. 16. Hold up. Wait why, a minute. Why I thought you started Something ain't right. Like a month. Well, that was a great quiz. Mm -hmm. No, it wasn't. It was very easy. <laughs> Hope you liked our new host. Yes. Stephen Hawking. Yeah. Stephen Hawking. <laughs> Stephanie Hawking. Stephanie Hawking. Our new host, Stephanie Hawking. <laughs> Wait, did I say Hawking? No, Ste <laughs> Stephanie Hawking. Stephanie Hawking. She related to Stephanie McMahon. <laughs> yep. Be sure to like the video and uh, comment down, Doink the Clown. Yep, Doink the Clown. I just don't believe it, man. I don't believe it. I just uh, we gotta ask her for a picture one day. We got to. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely cutting that from the video. <laughs> we'll see you next quiz. I'm we and I'm Yard and we out. Boom. Actually, no. Bang.